Hi, I'm Jerome from Cognito Academy, and in this series, I'll be going through some interesting physics questions. Let's take a look at this question, which states that 10 grams of ice cubes at 0 degrees Celsius is added to 100 grams of water at 30 degrees Celsius, and we are given the specific heat capacity of water and the specific latent heat of fusion of ice. So first, let's recap what the specific heat capacity of water and the specific latent heat of fusion of ice means. So the specific heat capacity of water being 4.2 joules per gram per degree Celsius means that in order to increase the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius, we need 4.2 joules of heat. And what does it mean by the specific latent heat of fusion of ice is 334 joules per gram. Well, this means that in order to turn 1 gram of ice into 1 gram of water without a change in temperature, we need 334 joules of heat to be added to that ice. Okay, so now that we have the definitions clear, let's try to tackle this problem. So the first thing we have to understand is what actually happens in this case. So we have ice cubes and water together at different temperatures. So And then they end up as water at some temperature that we have to find out. So what actually happens is that the ice gains heat from the water and turns into water at 0 degrees Celsius. And then this water at 0 degrees Celsius gains some more heat at, from the water and turns into water at some T degrees Celsius, which is more than 0 but less than 30. And then what happens on the other hand for the water is that the water that was originally at 30 degrees Celsius loses heat to the ice and then it becomes water at some T degrees Celsius. So one thing we can use to solve this is by the f assuming no loss or gain of heat to the surroundings, the heat gained by the ice is equal to the heat lost by the water. So we just have to construct an equation around this with the heat gained by the ice on the left hand side and the heat lost by the water on the right hand side in terms of T, solve for T and that will be our answer. So first let's try to get what the heat gained by ice is. So the heat gained by the ice, remember, is our energy taken to turn the ice into water and then the energy taken to turn the water at 0 degrees Celsius into the water at T degrees Celsius. The first part is the latent heat of fusion, which is the heat gained by the ice to turn into water. And in this case, this is 334 times 10. Now the second part for the water at 0 degrees Celsius to turn into the water at T degrees Celsius is 4.2 uh, joules per grams per degree Celsius times 10 grams of ice cube become water at 0 degrees Celsius times the temperature change which is the final temperature uh, T degrees Celsius minus the original temperature at 0 degrees Celsius and then on the right hand side we consider the heat lost by the water which is just 4.2 times 100 grams of water times the temperature difference which is 30 degrees Celsius, which is the original temperature, minus T, which is the final temperature. Now, expanding this out, we get 3340 plus 42T equals to 12600 minus 420T. And then rearranging this, we get 462T equals to 9260. And then finally, we get T equals to 20.0 to three significant figures. So our answer is 20. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe, and head over to our channel for more videos like this.